If you're looking for a bright, beautiful, spacious bunk room, and you want some high-end features, don't wanna necessarily break the bank, folks, this right here, the Heartland Mallard M32 is an awesome option. You get the private bunk room in the back, the big super slide, and just, again, a ton of additional features. So let's start off right here in the kitchen. You'll notice a couple different things they do really well. One of those is your countertop. So this is an upgraded countertop. It's uh, going to be like a pressed or a thermal-formed countertop rather than a T-mold. So that way you don't have the T-mold that's gonna pop off around the corners, which we've all seen we all hate because then it gets water in it and then it starts to rot out and nobody wants that to happen plus it's lighter weight than a true solid surface but still gives you a lot of the benefits like being able to undermount this stainless steel sink and again it's just a much cleaner look it's easier to keep clean too they also give you the a high rise oil rub bronze faucet a little bit easier to put your dishes down in there uh, plus you have again just plenty of countertop space so you get some good space on the side plus a lot right back here and you'll see an electrical outlet down there. So if you need to like plug in a coffee maker or something, you have uh, a good space to do that. The backsplash is kind of like a white subway tile and you have a window right behind the sink too to let in some of that natural light. Uh, as far as cooking, you'll get the three burner recessed cooktop. This one is the Greystone model. Uh, you can see that flips up and back just like so, opening up those three burners. And you kind of get like the Greystone suite of appliances here, at least for the microwave, the hood, and that three burner cooktop. Plus, right underneath is the oven. For kitchen storage, doesn't lack there either. You have two full extension ball bearing drawers. The drawers are completely finished, which I like. And then right underneath the sink, there's some additional storage. So if you want a trash can, you have space for one. Moving over into the refrigerator, kind of rounding out the kitchen space, something that they do is very unique is they have what's called a doodle station. And what that essentially is, is this, these front panels here are a chalkboard. So if you want to write notes or, you know, if you have smaller kids, you can have chalk here. They can write on the refrigerator, kind of a, you know, just something that's fun to do, especially if it's raining outside. Or if you're really artistic, well, you can just make it look really pretty. And then when you open that up, of course, you can see there is plenty of space, uh, eight cubic foot of uh, cold storage in here. Freezer up top, refrigerator right down below. This is a gas absorption refrigerator, so it will run on either propane or uh, 120 shore power. Moving a little bit further, we can see your thermostat located here. That, of course, will uh, run your AC as well as your furnace. Both of those are ducted. And then we get into the bathroom. Now, something else I like that Mallard does is the door. If you take a look at that, you can see it's kind of like a, I don't know, a little bit more designer door than what you normally get. It's a little bit, a little bit more effort rather than just a plain, simple door. And when we open that door and move into the bathroom, you'll see here that you have pretty good leg space, good shoulder space, good leg space here. Uh, it is a plastic bowl. I, I would have liked to have seen porcelain. You know, there, there's uh, sufficient room. You should be able to change it out pretty easy, but uh, I would have liked to have seen a, a porcelain bowl in a bigger unit like this. Uh, you, will all, you will notice that you have good countertop space here as well as some storage right underneath, an electrical outlet, of course, there with your GFCI as you're going to want around any kind of water source, mirrored medicine cabinet up top, and then the tub shower over to the side with the skylight. Now, if I step in here, I just kind of want to give you an idea of size. So if I step in here, you can see again that tub with that high threshold and then, you know, at six foot tall, I can stand in here pretty easily, folks. I have another inch or two. Um, and that skylight is quite large, so I have a lot of movement. I'm not stuck to just one tiny space. So it, it is pretty good when it comes to uh, that shower space. You'll also notice some additional storage right here. This one has a couple of shelves in it, so makes for a really nice linen closet, or if you just need additional storage for the kids' clothes, that's a great spot for it too, because as you can see, we have a bunk room here. You get the top bunk. This one does fold up, and because underneath will be your two sofas. Now, uh, these are kind of cool. They they call it a, a cube sofa. I don't know if you guys are familiar with this company. It came super popular during COVID. It's called Nugget. And that's exactly what this reminds me of is like the Nugget couch, right? Because you can fold these out into beds. You have the backrests that you can move around. If they want to make a fort back here, you can pop them up, throw some blankets over it. You have like an instant fort. Uh, I really, really do like these. I had something similar as a kid. Always love them. We have the Nugget couches at home. Kids love them. I'm telling you, kids go wild for them. Uh, right across the way is your third bunk right up top here. 300 pound weight capacity. This one is a little bit larger. 
Uh, storage on both sides too, I'm a big fan of that. A lot of times in bunk rooms, they lack storage for clothes, not the case here. And then right in the center, of course, is where the TV will go. As we make our way back out, I wanna talk a little bit about kind of the entertainment uh, space, and that's going to be right here. So in the super slide, you get your large U-shaped dinette as well as your tri-fold sofa. One of the things I really like about Mallard when it comes to the dinette is they call it a uh, selecta style. And what that essentially is, is these cushions are reversible. So if you like kind of like the lighter look, great, you can, you can use that. But if you decide, you know what, I wanna change things up, I wanna have things a little bit darker, maybe have some different pops of color, you can change the back and just the back if you want. You can change the bottom, you can see that that has it too. So you can make it all one color or kind of mix and match however you want, which I like because it allows you to change the look of things without having uh, incurring any additional cost. Also, you'll see that they have storage underneath and it's pretty good storage there on both sides. Of course, they removed the carpet so that you have uh, that woven vinyl flooring in there. And as you would expect, that table does drop down into a nice big additional sleeping space. Speaking of sleeping, that's also where the sofa comes in. So uh, this sofa, and I, and I apologize here, this one is a little bit different. So I called it a tri-fold and it kind of is, but it works a little bit differently because you have this uh, storage space right here. Let's see if I can get this one out. Ah, there we go. Pull it out nice and straight. Um, so, and this is where your third cushion is. So this folds down, kind of like a jackknife, and then this cushion goes right on top. Um, so the cool thing about this too, is if you don't plan on anyone staying the night, let's say you're going out for a little bit, you can remove this cushion and this just becomes a huge storage space. So for me, it has more versatility than like what your standard um, um, tri-fold will have. But as you can see, if we fold it out, that is the sleeping space right there. Now, when you're sitting on the couch or sitting in the dinette, maybe it's a rainy day, you wanna watch some TV, this is where it will go. And another thing I really liked that they did in the Mallard is they made sure this was big enough to fit a larger TV. You can see that in almost every Mallard model, you can fit a 50 inch TV here. Um, and I like that they did that because that is not always the case. This is pretty cool too. You have some hidden storage. You can just slide this open. Uh, obviously, you know, any valuables you wanna put in there, or if you're a big fan of the Second Amendment, this can be a great space for it as well. Just make sure you have a lock on there. But I just like the fact that it is very accessible. And then underneath is a fireplace, which not only looks great, but also helps kind of take the chill out of the air. And our entertainment center is built in there too. Then when we step in the bedroom, you think, oh, maybe it's gonna be a little lackluster up here. Nope, not at all. You have a large king size bed, folks. That way you don't elbow each other in the middle of the night. You have uh, plenty of space kind of uh, right next to it, kind of like a nightstand for phones, water, whatever else you need wardrobe on both sides and additional storage going across the top. Uh, of course, we have sliding doors here. And the last thing I wanna to touch on before we go outside is the fact you can see it's dual ducted AC. You have that racetrack AC going all the way through that ceiling and it is a fully laminated and walkable roof. All right, let's talk a little bit about the outside of the Mallard M32. Now, right up front starts out with convenience, and that, of course, in the form of the power tongue jack, just making it a lot easier to hook up, disconnect from the tow vehicle there. Propane tank cover, as you'd expect, rails for the battery. And then as we come up front, you'll notice the three-quarter front cap. And they do something I like that a lot of manufacturers don't, which is they give it some dimension. A lot of times when it's a three-quarter front cap like this, it's just flat. I like that you have some different dimension here with LED lights inlaid. It's kind of reminiscent of true front caps that uh, you just don't see on many travel trailers anymore. So I do like what they've done. And as we come around to the side, Folks, you get the King Kong size storage. I mean, take a look at how much storage space you actually have in there. That is super impressive for a travel trailer. And they didn't cheap out on components either. You have a nice slam latch baggage door, magnetic catch, everything you would want. Uh, plus right over here is the solar charge controller. So if you're looking for a little bit of solar, you can see that one is uh, pre-wired. Making our way back a little bit further, we get into the uh, the more ride step above step system. Personally, you know, there's two big ones on the market. I prefer this system. Main reason being is they adjusted it like late last year, I think, uh, or they changed it. So it's easier to adjust the feet. It's just like a little lever that you push now instead of having to pull a pin out and put it back in. So I think that was a great change. 
Uh, real quick on construction, you do get full two inch thick walls. Again, everything on here is laminated, your roof, uh, your, your walls right here. I guess not everything, it is tongue and groove uh, plywood flooring, but your, your walls and your roof. But the other thing I really like about this that I think is a huge benefit is the fact they use Asdell in their walls, folks. Most manufacturers don't just because it's more expensive, but it is 100% worth it in my opinion because it won't absorb moisture, it's lighter, and it doesn't off gas. You won't get uh, any of the off gassing you oftentimes get from Luon, which especially on hot days can uh, be a little disturbing for a lot of people. Uh, if you take a look right down below, you'll see the wide track suspension. So you have a spread axle system, meaning that it's not going to sway as much when going down the road, giving you better overall towability. Black tank flush over here to wash out the black tank so you don't have to stick a hose down your toilet. Standard steps on this one. This is a secondary entrance to get up into the bathroom, but again, that is super easy access in there. Then as we come to the very back, you will see the outside kitchen. Great storage on here, it's lit. Larger refrigerator. I love the uh, kind of like tile design they have in the back there. Again, some additional storage plus you get the pull out prep space. A propane quick connect right down below. Outside shower on the back, you have the grill arm as well as the spare tire, backup camera prep, ladder prep, and then on the other side, of course, is our, uh, our 50 amp uh, hookup. So again, folks, this is an awesome, awesome family model. If you're looking for you know other family travel trailers, maybe something a little bit smaller, well, stick around. I've got a couple great ones for you.